Thank you for coming and thank you for the uh, organizing this great event. Um, when I came to the Rochester uh, in 2004, I was just a foreign student. Um, I was lonely and also only foreign student uh, in the campus. I went to the uh, uh, Monroe Community College to study public administration. Um, you know, I was uh, the, my campus in, in the downtown Damon campus. So, you know, it was very, really, Ex, you know, exciting, but you know, it's very great experience to be here, like as you know, to see real America. Uh, first day, I'm moving to the downtown Rochester from New York City. You know, the view I saw is like that. You know, I was walking downtown, and then I was looking downtown. I couldn't find out where the downtown is, and soon I realized <laughs> that was downtown. I didn't know anything about Rochester, so I kind of want, you know, I have no idea what's happened in this place, but it used to be a great place, but, you know, many people are left and business is not there. It looks like empty. And soon my class starts, my first uh, class is gr uh, grant writing class. And this was really practical class. My, all my classmates was a uh, working adult who, you know, who is already working for the not-for-profit organization uh, field. And professors told me, uh, you have to write letter, real letter for your organization. But if you're not in organizations, you have to come up some kind of idea for projects, writing letters. It, it can be anything, but you have to be very realistic, she said. So you have to, you know, study the subject. So I, you know, st spent some time going to the library, studying about downtown because I was living in downtown. My school was in downtown and I didn't want to see like this kind of view every day. So one day I walked in the street and I saw that, you know, the boy is smiling, the pictures, it, it was just advertising, but I saw, hmm, this is not bad picture, you know? And if then I got inspiration, like, oh, if I put pictures like this on the street, you know, maybe it's great. Then like the idea starts growing itself. You know, maybe we can put, you know, artistic picture instead of advertising. Maybe we can put, you know, extra large pictures. Maybe we can invite, you know, photographer from all over the world. Maybe we can invite, you know, famous photographers. If I, what's gonna happen, like if we change the pictures and have a theme all the time, and can we call like, this is real, uh, you know, museum? It's like outdoor museum. Maybe I can call this is the world's largest outdoor museum. Then I saw maybe people come from even Canada, you know? <laughs> well, you know, that route is already gone, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's like we already have a people traveling to the Niagara Falls, so maybe we can bring this, you know, if you become famous, we can get, you know, more people to come to Rochester. So not just like, uh, you know, beautifying, but like, Maybe we can bring back the people walking the street. Maybe we can write up pictures and help people walking the street, nighttime. And maybe we can project image to the windows. So I was so excited that day I got inspiration because I never got kind of idea, you know, which made a lot of sense. And I feel like I, and I can convince somebody, you know? And that, that, that night I couldn't sleep, so I just started making pran. And I made a lot of computer graphic because I didn't speak well, and I didn't speak English well that time. So just using this kind of computer graphic, just, you know, talk to everybody. Um, I got A from the class, and then after the class, I just started thinking, oh, maybe I should really, really pursue this project. And I just started talking to everybody because I didn't know anybody, so I speak, people on the cafe, I met a lot of people on the street, I met people in the bus or school, but I asked a lot of questions and, you know, asked an opinion about this project and many people feel like that's a good idea. So I feel like, oh, maybe this is great. And then I start grasping who is a key player in Rochester. So I met the city council people, I met like art organizations, you know, I met the people in the, you know, the develop, develop, uh, downtown developing people, develop, you know, developers in downtown. 
But most importantly, I met a lot of great people who wants to willing to help me to do this project. We got wonderful volunteers. Uh, one is including John Lam here. <laughs> um, but we worked very, very hard. So first two years, we worked very hard. And in 2006, we did a first project called Photo Mosaic, Rochester Photo Mosaic. We installed 60 by 40 feet uh, photo mosaic on the side of the building. We asked Rochester people to submit uh, pictures of da their daily life. We got 10,000 pictures, and we made one big image. So if you go far, you see big picture, but if you go close, you can see all small images. This is the installation day, and this is opening picture. The, the photographer of these pictures, uh, Joseph in the center, he was in seventh grade at that time. He took pictures of his friends you know, playing in the uh, park by themselves. And I saw that's great pictures because, you know, my hour is time, like, most fun time is, you know, to playing with your friends. You know, and if kids can play by themselves, that's a good sign. It means next city is safe and it's everybody feel comfortable. So I did enhance the pictures a little bit, and I spent one week to make a computer uh, generated photo mosaic. This is still there in the St. Paul Street. Uh, it's in the SUNY Blackboard building. And we got some uh, media coverage, uh, local news, even uh, <laughs> a reporter from Japan came and they make an article for me. It's become a front page of my uh, uh, hometown newspaper. After this project, uh, many volunteers have to take a break because that was you know, full-time work and nobody get paid. And then for me, you know, same thing. I graduated from school and somehow I have to make this as my occupation to keep doing this project. Then I just started working with uh, Jerry DeMarco, who is a 60 years old lawyer who has four kids, 15 grandkids in Rochester, who is the uh, uh, immigrants of uh, uh, Italian immigrants of uh, kids, I mean, the, his father is Im immigrants, and he grew up in the, near the public market, and his office is always in downtown. So, <laughs> enter his life, he's in here, except the college time. So he had connection to people. He, you know, he know the people here, you know, the people know him, and he, people trust him. So, it was like an old couple, but we did a lot of project. Last eight years, we, we did uh, more than 20, uh, 20 exhibitions. We, got, we installed more than 300 pictures in downtown. Now I can put all the pictures, I can show you, I cannot show you all the pictures today, but if you are interested, you can go bigpicturerochester.com to see more pictures. Uh, this is second year's project. We just start putting, uh, installing the pictures of uh, Rochester event and festival. This is a bike race one time in Rochester downtown. Um, um, so soon we just realized that you know, our main audience are people who are waiting bus while they're transferring uh, uh, in a bus. Uh, so I feel like these people, you know, most of my audience don't go to the art museum. So I wanted to have something connection to the art. So that's why I put a lot of Rochester pictures. This is a clean sweep pictures. Um, it's very nice, uh, positive image. And I didn't personally did join this project, but I have to tell you, you know, before installing this picture, I mean these pictures, all pictures actually, I have to clean up the building very, very well, you know, because like sometimes it's messy and smelly, you know, <laughs> you have to do that kind of stuff. So I feel like voluntary joined this project. This is a lilac festival. Uh, this is the uh, uh, artwork. This is Jazz Fest. And this is the third year's project called Ro uh, Four Seasons of Rochester. This is a summer. This is a spring. This is fall. This is winter. Uh, this is my favorite pictures in a fisherman's fishing. It's almost like you can you know, jump into the river. And also the water is almost like coming to your side. In 2009, I started working with the city of Rochester and did an exhibition for 175 anniversary of Rochester. We installed a lot of our downtown old picture, but it's not just installing it. 
we put same location. So for example, this is the uh, Rochester Saving Bank picture uh, from uh, late 19th century. So that picture is in this building. So you can, on this building, so you can compare. You know, I don't know which building is better. <laughs> <laughs> we progress anything, I don't know. But, you know, it was great uh, education too. And one day, you know, I was read, uh, read, uh, watching the local news and uh, reporter asking the kids on the street, in Main Street, uh, what do you think about the uh, one building start, you know, playing the classic music on the street. And one girl said, I love this project because it makes everybody comfortable and, you know, that's inviting. More people should come to downtown because downtown used to be a great place. There's a lot of people, a lot of business activities. But she was only like 14, 14 years old or something. So she, you know, she don't know. She didn't know like when she was, you know, was born, downtown was already bad shape. So she had to learn from somewhere. And I assume she learned from my project. <laughs> but uh, this is the Main Street pictures. It was a trolley used to be there. Um, this is a Main Street uh, from 50s. Uh, Democratic Chronicles is sent down the bridge of Main Street. The bridge used to be both sides its buildings. And so you're walking the street, you know, passing a bridge, you don't see river. Past few years, I started working with uh, uh, installing the uh, nature picture of Rochester. This is a high floor picture. Uh, just you are walking two blocks from here, you can see these views, how nice it is. We have to realize that, you know, Rochester offers a lot of great natures. And then, frankly, I think industry era is ends and something we have to, you know, some, something we're gonna get from, something we're gonna make is, we have to embrace is the nature. You know, we have great agriculture here. We have great finger rake area, Ontario rake. This is something, you know, we have to really think about it. And we should have, you know, think value about it. Um, I have to tell you that I it's it takes two years to put these pictures. I have to convince my sponsor who wants to put different kind of pictures. But like, you know, you have to patient and negotiate with them. And then, you know, it takes time. But, you know, if you can put something you, have, you want to put, you know, that's make you feel very good. Uh, so this year I started making, I, I made my new company called City Design Lab, which consulting the uh, design and usage of public space. Um, then I have, I want to share two proposals for the downtown. Downtown, to, for, for downtown last for 10 years was good years. The population is doubled from 3,000 to 6,000 6, people. And also, you know, this is a big trend of the United States. Last 60 years, suburb always outgrow than city. But from last four years, Cities start outgrowing the suburb. And I think this, is, this trend is gonna continue for another 20, 30 years, I think. So we're gonna get more people in downtown. And then we need better design for the city. Uh, if you don't do it, it's gonna be very crowded and you, know, you don't feel comfortable to live in here. And I think high four is one very key point we have to really focus. This is like, could be some, something better than like Central Park in New York City. It's natural things, and it's in the center of, you know, it's in the downtown. But we never really featured this area well. Um, first day I came to Rochester, I was looking for high fall because, you know, I saw that's wonderful, right? You see the high fall, falls in downtown. But I couldn't find out because, you know, you're walking there among the river, but you can't reach to the high fall from Main Street side. So, and then there's a lot of, you know, barriers, physical barrier in the loop is there, and also the trains truck, and also psychological barrier. You have to go through like this kind of place. Do you wanna go? <laughs> it's <just> scary, dark, <laughs> smelly. Do you, if, you were, if you are not familiar with this place, are you going to walk here? So what you can do is, you know, just make a welcome environment, you know, using art and lighting, you know, we can do like this very easily. Just make sure where the you know, direction is. You know, you're 
heading to high for going to Main Street because it's, you know, that route is very un, uh, counterintuitive. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but you need the coordination. You have to make work with a lot of organization to do so. But we can design a little better than now. If city of Rochester, if they want to spend some money, we should spend some money to making the direct route to the main street from Haifa. This is the, uh, under the uh, train truck. Um, we, sh we can do like this, you know, we can make nice sidewalk and just make it, you know, put art and nice writing and make it romantic, you know, kind of environment and start, people start walking. And if we, then we need to connect other neighborhood to high falls. And if otherwise, we're not gonna see the bar or restaurants in high falls, you know, that's something, you know, we working on it, but never works because nobody walking there down, you know, high falls. Another key place we have to really think about is former Mittan Plaza. We have to come to sense that this place is very big and we need a lot of people to develop this site. This area could be a neighborhood, you know, like 100 people can work, 1,000 people can live there if we develop well. But we always do is, you know, people who contributed to the political campaign most get rights to talk with government in closed door, and they have rights to spend your money to develop site. But we have very bad track record, you know, for, especially in downtown, for this kind of development. And then we should start thinking different way. So what we can do? What we can do is we just dice the site to very small segment, just auction off, right? People who paid most, get site, and they have rights to develop that site. We need a hundred people to develop this site, you know? We need the people who spend their money, risk their money, spend their time, their life, to develop like this, you know, this coffee shop, same thing, right? She spent their life, so that's why this, is, this place is great. We need that hundreds of people like that to develop that site well. Personally, you know, the public space should be, I think, pub, you know, pedestrian space, because like the, uh, there's enough parking spot in the downtown army basement. This is the Colorado, uh, Denver, Colorado. You know, it, it can be like this, you know. This is the uh, uh, Charlottesville in uh, Virginia. But in you know, the downtown Rochester used to be very, very vibrant price. And uh, if we are smart enough, we can make that kind of place again, you know. We can make this place as like Park Avenue, Monroe Avenue, you know, Southwich combined. But if we smart, but we have to be very smart and we have to admit what kind of mistake we made and we just need to correct it. Uh, so I think we should start, you know, design city a little better. Thank you. <laughs>